we're back we're back again in train sim we're back again in scotland and we're back again well we haven't no that went wrong we're not back <laughs> okay well I'll start again it's gonna be one of those everybody <laughs> we're this time wow uh northeast of glasgow i was meant to say we're back again near glasgow but we're north east no northwest oh dear okay we're not <laughs> we're northwest of glasgow on the Suburban Glasgow Northwest. It's even in the title. Uh, Springburn to Helensburg Line. <sighs> wow. Yeah, that, that was definitely a thing. If you're watching this on YouTube, yeah, strap in. <laughs> uh, trains going out on the channel every single Wednesday. Oh, no, it's one of those on YouTube. Uh, on a Monday, something from uh, what the hell is it? Omzi. Uh, on a Friday, something uh, uh, firm bus or tourist bus. Saturday's currently farming or flight. Uh, Sunday's from trucking and some other other things some other things in there uh so yes uh suburban glasgow northwest springburn to helensburg line which if you look on the googles uh is northwest of glasgow because it's even in in the description uh we're going to take this class 320 uh on to to the places uh, we'll have a look at the timetable. We're going to be late, aren't we? So we've arrived here at Helensburg. Then we're going to... Uh, wow, I'm not going to be able to pronounce these, am I? Uh, Craig and Doran, uh, Cardross, uh, Darroch, Dumbarton, uh, Dumbarton East, uh, Jordan Hill, uh, Patrick. I can pronounce that one. Uh, Charing Cross, hang on. Uh, Glasgow, Queen Street, uh, High Street and Springburn. Uh, so yes, good evening, everybody. Uh, Nico, Domredo, John, Dylan, Trent, uh, Rich, uh, NT, and uh, the Larwood. Uh, right, let's jump inside then. Uh, passengers have, have done the uh, the getting on thing. So we'll release the brakes. And do the moving forward. <sighs> well, that was a, that was a, you can relax now. That was definitely a, a, a start. Have we got a lightless green? Yes, we have. So yeah, not done any... We were supposed to be in Leeds, but I realised I couldn't get anywhere. Well, I could, but I didn't have the trains to get anywhere. So it would have been walking from Leeds. Uh, so we'll come back to Leeds. And uh, realised I've not done a single route on this line. I must have picked it up when it was on sale. Uh, so if you are watching this on the YouTubes, I will leave a link in the uh, in the doobly doo below to where you can do the purchasing of it oh that's noisy that's definitely a noise wow uh, yes it was supposed to be leads <laughs> it is leads basically uh, it's, it's Leeds, but a, a little bit north. Oh, all right, okay, 40 limit. I've never driven a train before, so no idea what it's going to be like. Never driven this line before, so don't know what it's going to be like. So anything can happen in the next half hour. Or however long this takes. I can't even remember how long the route was. 50... 
minutes, 55 minutes. So expect it to be about an hour and a half. Okay, first stop coming up then, Craig and Doran. And I know it's a, an electrocuted line, but you know it's it's the compromise. It's an electrocuted line with the uh, the big windows, and there's no choice of not being an electrocuted line. We're going to do the braking. I've got no idea how the braking is going to be on this. So we'll get the braking early, uh, really early, it would seem. Oh, I got the fire on. And there's some uh, water. Okay, yeah, so it is along the coast then, cause, because that's the, the, the coast over there. See, I'm observant. Oh, there's a, the stoppy place. That's what they're called. Technical name, stoppy places. Dom Rado. Thank you very much indeed. A year. That's... Um, you should really seek help if you've been around that long. Okay, we've done the stopping. You have good Greg Raffrey. Greg, Greg, what? Greg, Greg, Greggy, Greg, Greggy. Okay, do I? I that's a compliment, I think. Right, so stop one. Are we going to get a tick? quite nice so we are following along the coast it's supposed to be a stormy day according to the thing at the beginning of the what's it that's the river Clyde don't call me Clyde the name's Steve passengers are now boarded the train please proceed at 0808 so the next timetable stop at Cardross well it's 0809 so unless this train's fitted with a uh, time machine I'm actually already liking the train. Oh, hang on. How, how horny are we? Not bad. You're beyond help. I think most of us are, John. The green uh, bulb in the light. That means we can do the going. I See, I'm just too good at this. There's the water. Right, 3.35 miles. It's a very precise amount of miles. It's gone down now. I'm not going to read it out every time it changes because we've been there for days. Yep, that's water. Just ruins the countryside. I know it's great for the, the, the world doing the electrocuting of the, the lines, but, you know, it doesn't look very nice, does it? Uh, bing. Oh, 60. Another train coming the other way. Alright, are we going to gain some time? We're due in at uh, Cardross at uh, the 0813.20. Uh, and uh, our ETA is the 0814.21. That's later. Oh, going to be doing the speedy. So there are three scenarios on this route. Well, there's more than that, but three scenarios on this route because I didn't let myself finish uh, using this train. So the uh, the plan being that I will uh, I'll I'll do them because there are, there are three of them and in, in this train. Let's we'll see how it goes. What have we got down here? Cab light. Oh, pretty light, light dimmer, oh it dims the display in case it blinds you, but yeah I'm actually liking the train for a, an electrocuted one, it's very nice, a bit jittery, juddery. 
juddery jittery. See, if you are watching this on the YouTubes, uh, there will be links in the uh, in the doobly doo below uh, to where you can watch this rubbish live uh, to the Twitch page thing, uh, and also put links down there to the um, the Discord server uh, where there, where some of these idiots in uh, in chat are um, are located. Yeah, you've got to spell Discord correctly, Trent, for that to actually work. It's getting better. So if you've got any English teachers watching uh, and they want to offer some services to Trent, uh, then um, your help in the Discord uh, would be appreciated. Again, yeah, nearly Larwood. Well, that's a lot of juddery. Discords. Right, doing the slow you down thing now. <laughs> there you go. He's got his own thing. You did something. Well, you did. There was a something that you happened to do. Right, card Ross coming up. We got a green light. Which means we can still go, but, you know, we've got to stop and let the passengers off. Yeah, anybody's uh, used to dealing with under fives, we could all do with some help then. Ross. Okay, so we got a, oh, we got two ticks so far. We're doing well. So Cardross, uh, Dalroich, Dumbarton Central, Dumbarton East, uh, Jordan Hill, Partick, a football team there, Partick Thistle, uh, Charing Cross, Glasgow Queen Street, uh, High Street, and then Sp Lava. Uh, why do I not put a list of airports beginning with D? Because we decided on an airport. Um, because we're doing X plane, uh, we wanted to do something that uh, we were all happy with. So we'll carry on with an E airport next week. But it will be an airport beginning with D. Denver. Denver to Oklahoma uh, is tomorrow night stream in X plane. Uh, first time I've streamed. X plane for five months, um, so that's going to be uh, a thing. Is uh, I think what is uh, what is said. Uh, hi, Chris. Right, two point six of the five four four miles, three two point four of the miles to the Dalroy. How am I? Uh, I, uh, I don't know. Ask me in about two and a half hours. Uh, said nobody ever, off in hand. Right, we've got 30 coming up through the tunnel. But yeah, for an electric. Quite liking it. Oh, have we got an inside? Oh, we have got an inside. I'm trapped in a room on my own. Oh, Dalryuk. Okay, well, yeah, it was close. Uh, 
Well, they should spell it like that. They should spell it phonetically. Phonetic. See, why is phonetically such a difficult word to spell? So, Dauriuk. Uh, wow, they're close together. Dauriuk and Dumbarton. Look how close they are. They can just walk between them. <laughs> Felnuk Tilly. Well, yeah. Oh, bye then. Um, so what? That's a lot of, a hell of a lot of lag happened there. Hi, Roxy. That, that was like OMSI levels of lag. Okay, green light. So we've got a 30 coming up through the tunnel. So we'll slow it down. Hang on, I can put me a thing on. Where's my thing? There we go. Also, don't you probably don't need a wiper on in the tunnel because well, even that sounds quite nice. After the tunnel, yeah, yeah, I'm just getting ready. After cab lights on. That's very laggy. Wow. Is this made by the people that make the lines with the lag? It would seem so. Cab light calls lag. Really? Turn it off then. I'll put the wiper back on though. Because it actually sounds okay for a wiper. Is it the same as the Omsi London people? Yeah, before they uh, completely buggered up London, they did this. It's just the occasional line, isn't it? We get lag. Right, here we come to Dalryuk. sound quite nice. No, I'm not going to be an electric train convert. No. No, it's not happening. He's been watching Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds are a go. Oh, he did this yesterday before the stream. Five. Four. Uh, and so on. I'm not going to do all of them. You know what's next. Well, actually, Trent doesn't know what's next. Three. Two. One. Thunderbirds are go. <laughs> Passengers now boarded the train. Please proceed at 8.19 to next timetable stop at Dumbarton Central. Well, it's 8.20. You may be late now by reading that. So who shot who yesterday? Well, that was a brilliant way to end the stream. That couldn't have been more perfectly timed. Uh, if you're watching on the YouTubes, that's in reference to the Ranch Sim uh, multiplayer, first multiplayer stream, uh, where if you watch to the very end, someone gets shot. It's like watching the end episode of The Sopranos. You see the gunshot, or hear the gunshot, and you don't know. Wow, that's, they could just walk down here, surely. There's a lot of lag. Surely they could just make a really long platform. Well, oh, it does sound quite nice. It's like Swindon Station, but not. Right, made it to Dumbarton Central. 
Have you got ticks? How are we doing with a tickage? Oh, we got four ticks so far. We're doing okay. The end of Sopranos was maddening. I know. <laughs> that was one of the few series that uh, the final ep the final scene of the final episode of the series, and I just went, "What the hell?" It's like you you cannot end a series like that. You just can't. Fast load for West Coast Mainline South is only now 25 seconds. It's not the loading. I don't care how long it takes to load the line. It's the lag you get during it. Uh, right, Dumbarton East now in less than a mile. It is a nice train, I must admit. For an, uh, an electrocuted one, I am liking it. Actually, I get less Omzi lag than I do in this line. Right, Dumbarton East coming up just down here. He started watching 24. That was the first TV series I ever binge watched. Because that was just a fantastic concept. He returned. Didn't you know he'd left? Did you put your hand up? Right, the point thirty of the miles. Did I crash yet? No, no, no this isn't flight. This is trains. <laughs> oh, that's some speed. Oh, actually, not a bad amount of breakage. It was rapid on the breakage, but no, it was okay. It's, oh, look at that right on the zeros. I'm just, I am just too good. I, I know, I, I just am. I can't help it. More ticks. Five of the, that's five. One, two. One, two, three, four. And another one. Five of the ticks. So where was that bit where... Why are we in a room here with just a wall behind us? What's going on? Where is that in relation to the tr train? Oh, it's there. It's that room. It's there. That's where the view is. Uh, right. Jordan Hill. Did he do the Mike Trainers? Uh, ten miles? That's many of the miles. Ten of them. Many, many, many miles. Yeah, for those watching live tomorrow night, uh, return of uh, X Plane. Haven't streamed it in five months, uh, so that's going to be uh, uh, well. Interesting is the wrong word. Uh, Friday night, then uh, some of the Omsies. Uh, Saturday lunchtime is NIMBY Rails, which s someone today said I should just cancel every stream and just only stream NIMBY Rails. I uh, think you like it. Uh, Saturday evening is more breakfast. Uh, Sunday afternoon, I've got no idea. But then there might be a, a Monday stream on the ranch. It'd either be the ranch on Sunday afternoon and then I'll take Monday off or do something Sunday and do the ranch on Monday. I, I just, I don't know. Because, you know, a professional would plan these things. Right, the 55 of the, the speeds. I guess if you only do NIMBY, we would get the world covered fast. Yes. Train wave. You think of the Waltons when you see the ranch. Well, you are quite old, Artful, so that would explain it. Uh, 
Are we still by the side of the... Yeah, we are by the side of the river, Clyde. Don't call me Clyde. Yeah, nice train, nice line so far. I was hoping it wasn't all going to be just short, uh, like, mile stops between... Well, it can't be really, can it? Because otherwise we'd run out of the, the stops. I was I did a whole thing in my head just then. I do that a lot. So yeah, if we do the ranch on the Sunday, we won't do it Monday. Uh, Tuesday then is the the farmy thing. Wednesday there's more of the trains. No idea where we'll be. I should really plan these things. Uh, next Thursday will be, well, I say now it's going to be the MSFS, but we'll see. Uh, next Friday is the, the trucking multiplayer thing. And uh, next Saturday, then, I don't know. Nice bit of pantograph spiking. It, oh, wow, that's laggy. Jesus Christ. Forza's, yeah. The convoy meetup, what sort of ticket do you normally buy us? There are different kinds. We get the one for Saturday, one for Sunday, and one for both days. I think the Saturday is the day we're going to be going. Definitely getting closer to the river. Multicolored river. My pants are sparking. Hi, Chris. Right, Jordan Hill in uh, the something of the miles. That river's got very narrow then. Yay, choo-choos. Whoa, laggy choo-choos. Scotland choo-choos. Bing. And electrocated Scotland choo-choos. Uh-oh, faulty. Haggis choo-choos. Oh, is it haggis season yet? You've got to be careful. You've got to catch them. Just don't break the legs off, because everyone you see in the shop, their poor legs have just been torn off. You've got to be careful when you pick up a haggis. If you scare it, it leg its legs fall off. So you've got to, you know, when catching, you've got to be really careful. The ones you see in supermarkets, see, they're just caught, they're heavy-handed haggis. The so legs fall off. You've got to catch them in the wild, you've got to creep up behind them slowly, oh, then yeah. grab them, and then the legs don't fall off. Uh, the bold badger! Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the madness. This is a laggy line. Right. Slowing down to a 40 at some point up here. I've just done it early. I'm going downhill now. Why would you do that to me? I'm trying to do the slowy down thing and you're sending me down the slope. Be right on the way back. Well, providing one of the routes I'm going to do is on the way back. Put some breakage on. I need to see how bad that lag was if it wasn't on a SSD. Right, we've still got five miles to go to Jordan Hill. I'm guessing we're coming into the outskirts of Glasgow now. Larwood can't watch. 
me do train sim. He just comes in and out. Because if he comes in and I break like four miles early, he has to leave. He can't cope with it. It's like you can't watch me do farm sim either because of the overlap. Right, 40 through this station. And then we got 60 on the other side. I do, yes. That's quite laggy. Right, up to a 60. Yeah, it's not a bad train. I'd even forgot I had this line. And this is an express link, it said. Yeah, limited stop to Springburn. So there's two other scenarios that I want to do uh, along the same line, in the same train, but uh, hopefully we'll get different times of day, different stops. Uh, next week on, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, next week is another uh, Scotland line, uh, Glasgow to Edinburgh. Yeah, I'm guessing if it wasn't a limited stop service, we'd be stopping at that one as well. We'll see what one of the other ones is, whether we'll stop at the mall. So we've got three miles to go to uh, Nike Jordans. You see Geesehorn went on YouTube. Yeah, that was just brilliant. I think I put that in the title, didn't I? Is it last week's stream? No. You love the new Spitfire coming to MSFS. Really? Oh, I just don't do military stuff. Got the CRJ releasing in uh, 10 days time for MSFS. I shall have to uh, give that a go. So I got offered the, um, was it a Hawk? The one that's just released. I got offered that to review for MSFS. But I turned it down. I didn't even fly it. I didn't even power it up in X-Plane. What does... Ow! What does CRJ stand for? No idea. Something regional jet? Car no, not Carinado. Probably regional jet is in there somewhere. You should get me to fly it and you do a voiceover. I don't. I, I just not a fan of any military stuff. Right, double yellow again. Charlie, Roy, John. Oh, it's got a name. Oh, okay. Triple barreled name plane. Canadia. Canadian? Why am I breaking? I pressed the wrong one. That one. I get, yeah, again, Concorde's probably a bit complex for me. Eventually, when it comes to the MSFS, I might get it. Yeah, no problem, Lava. I, exactly, there's no... At least with a, a small GA plane, you're going from 
GA airport to GA airport with a regional jet. You're going from regional airport to regional airport. Big jet, you're going from big airport to, well, big airport. I can't think of a reason why I fly a military plane. Just take off, fly around, come back. Hi, Aiden. Sounds like an ailment. It does a bit. Yeah, I'm actually uh, did a bit of a practice flight in X plane yesterday, and I'm actually looking forward to getting back in X plane tomorrow. Right, single yellow, which means the next one is red. As we come into Jordan Hill. Yeah, I, I first jumped into X-Plane after reinstalling it and uh, made the mistake of jumping into the, wow, lag, much lag, uh, jumped into the 172 and realised how bad it was. Uh, but then yesterday, installed the Zebo and uh, jumped into the Zebo and forgot how good it was. All right, single yellow again. It's the compromise, you know, the jets are just so much nicer in X-Plane. For now, eventually, we will get decent jets in MSFS, which is why we're going to switch between the two. One week we're going to do X-Plane, so when we're doing jets, uh, the following week then we'll do um, GA stuff in uh, MSFS. Oh, it was just awesome. Having the the engine audio was fantastic. Having the announcements uh, and stuff, being able to get out of your seat and walk down the um, down the cabin, it's like oh, I just forgot how nice that was to do. Yeah, late this year though. We're going to get a CRJ. That's something. That's something different. If that's okay. Um, We'll, uh, we'll probably get a BAE 146 at some point. That's nice for a regional. <laughs> yeah, I just spotted that was a red light. And better pushback. It isn't a better pushback in MSFS though. But that was quite nice. You broke the plane. That's not good. Anyone got any double-sided sticky tape? Is there any news on Aerosoft's Airbus series yet? Not that I've heard. I don't get notified of their uh, air stuff. Only the uh, OMSI stuff. Yeah. Right, so we've got to wait for the light that isn't red anyway. Let's turn the whippers off. Passengers now boarded the train. Please proceed to the next timetable stop at Partick when the signal is clear for departure. Cabin altitude alarm. Oh, you didn't set your altitude. Rookie mistake. One that I'll probably make tomorrow. Right, you're waiting for this light. Probably waiting for that train to come down. That I go across. Uh, see if we'd have gone, we'd have crashed into him. And that would have just been bad because of all the paperwork you've got to do. And it's just, oh, people want to talk to you. It's just, it's not worth it. There we go. Uh, take the brake off would probably help. Uh, TML's TML aren't doing. I'm guessing you mean Bus Sim Twenty One. That's not TML. That's Astragon. Which I will be doing that. Uh, TML is the bus. And yes, as soon as I'm able to show you content on the bus, I will. Uh, Train Sim World multiplayer is on their roadmap. It will probably be in Train Sim World 4. Ah, there you go, Dylan. See?
That's fine. It won't stop the plane flying. It'll just beep at you a lot. Well, we'll go through it as a group tomorrow because I'm probably going to need a refresher. And not the sweet kind. Hang on, this isn't my stop. Ignore me. We're just um, we're just slowing down there. Yes, I know the early access is 20th of March. Hopefully, I can bring you content on it before it goes into early access. Uh, I have got the full version of Ranch Sim. Yeah, I was just testing the brakes, yeah. It was health and safety. We had to slow down through that station. You get ranch sim tomorrow. Pre-order the key. Just pre buy it what, on Steam. Just, yeah. It'll release then when you uh, are able to uh, wait, uh, unlock when it's available. I'll see an old station here. I guess that was the old station. They moved just the other side of the bridge. Right, coming into Partick. Pilot! I am actually really impressed with the audio of this train for an electric. Partick Thistle. Yeah, I said that at the beginning. Football team. I know nothing about football. 22... Over, overpaid sweaty blokes kicking a bag of wind around a bit of grass not for me and I'm literally all by myself all by myself uh, in here uh, right we've got lots of ticks oh many ticks so we're at Partick uh, then we've got uh, Charing Cross a bit long trek down to London uh, Glasgow, Queen Street, High Street, and then Springburn. And then we've got another two scenarios to do uh, after this. You like killing chickens? No. Passengers now boarded the train. Please proceed at 8.44 to next timetable stop at Charing Cross. Ooh, actually roughly on time. I'm sure that will change. Yeah, exactly, John. Getting stupid money for it. Right, Charing Cross coming up in 1.73 of the miles. Haha, <laughs> I waited. So I'm guessing this is coming into the outskirts of outskirts, outskirt. Wow, outskirts of <sighs> Glasgow. I, it didn't start well. It hasn't got any better, has it? The outskirts of Glasgow, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, actually, one of the route I'd like to get the train between Glasgow and Edinburgh. I think it'd be quite nice to do. Out what? It's Rover. Make me think you're a dog. Unless you're a 2006 Rover, like 216 or something. In that case, how you manage it to type. That's quite curious. Woof meme. Oh, That's yeah. That's a noise. Custard. Who remembers the cartoon? Was it Rhubarb and Custard? That was quite good. Oh, I haven't had Custard in ages. Fine enough. It's your dog's name. Uh, these do get quite random. 
Uh, okay, Charing Cross in 0.79 of the, the microscopes. Going down, coming. Custard is a dog's name. It is. Custard was the cat. Was it? Spotted dick or jam roly poly. Yeah, spotted dick can be a bit suety. It's dark in here. Anyone got a torch? Oh, that was cool. Don't tell me that wasn't cool. I'm doing that again. Echo off the horn. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. That's a lot of braking. Oh, there we go. Dovetail Games has class 455 sounds they've used on nearly every Mark III emu since 2011. And your point there is what? It sounds cool! Like a glove! Well, no, I was a bit far from the end, actually. <laughs> got more, more tickets? Yeah, we get another ticket. So we got, what's this one? This is one, two, three, four more stops, including this one. And then two more of the scenarios we're going to be doing. Passengers have now boarded the train. Please proceed at shop bleeping. Please proceed at 8.48. So next time table stop at Glasgow Queen Street. It is 8.48. So in that case, I should do the proceeding. Australian, Australian crunch from mint custard. Mint custard. Yeah, that was a thing. I do lack a bit of custard. Apple pie and custard. <sighs> yeah, I'm just a big kid. No, I'm not a fan of chocolate sponge. Steve's got a new toy. It's awesome. That's just cool. How is that not cool? I have a horn addiction. Hang on. That sounded a bit wrong. Right, 0.26 miles to be coming to Glasgow, Queen Street. Oops, it slipped. I do aployus. Well, I did once, then he fell off the stepladder. It probably does, but I've only got the space bar under my thumb. <laughs> oh, God. Who let him in? We'll go through it with you tomorrow, Dylan. It's fine. Oh, bye, lover. Right, Glasgow, Queen Street. So then we've got uh, High Street and then Springburn. And then we'll do another two scenarios. Because madness. Not the group, because, you know, they could be on the train. Anyone seen Suggs about? Oh, look, we've got double drainage. 
That was noisy. Okay. That actually sounded cool pulling out of there. I'm impressed with that. Oh, we got another, oh look, we got another tunnel coming up and Sam's just joined. You're in for a treat, Sam. My new favorite thing. Passengers have now boarded the train. Please proceed 8.52 to next, shut beeping, to next timetable stop at High Street. Off with the brakes. What's the difference between Train Sim 2021 and Train Sim World 2? Train Sim 2021 is a lot better. Oh no, here we go again. It's cool! Hans! Are we ready? That's just cool. Better how? Uh, longer routes, more routes, uh, more variety of routes, more trains, uh, a lot more DLCs. Um, you don't have to go round repairing fences and putting placards up. Unless, of course, you're a, you're on console, then it's your only choice. Because uh, train sim isn't on console. Right, High Street coming up. I can turn my whipper on, leave my whipper on. Yeah, tra train sim uh, is a lot, lot better. Uh, free workshop items. There's Armstrong Powerhouse where you can enhance the trains and make them sound even more cool. Uh, there's people like Alan Thompson that do extra routes and stuff. As Chaos said, there's free workshop items. Uh, it's just so much more than Train Sim is. And a, a better horn. Because, you know, horn. Hang on, we can two tone it. Hang on, hang on, let me find my B button. That's much, <laughs> that's much on. Passengers are now boarded the train. Please proceed, stop bleeping. Please proceed at 8.54 to the final destination of Springburn. Yeah, if you're into trains, do not click on that link. Yeah, but it's still Train Sim World 2, isn't it? That's the downside. Right, three three of the miles. Yes, three of the miles. To, yeah, so close, Trent. Uh, three of the miles until we get to Springburn. Uh, there we go. Will it be the same train next? Yeah, I'm going to stick with the three. There's only it's a three twenty and one other train on this line. Yeah, but they've probably got to pay AP for licensing, which means they'll charge more for the DLCs to get the money back. And they pay for the licensing, and then AP are doing themselves out of potential. Although trains in World Two, they're not really doing anything with, are they? Okay, one more time. I know. Realise if the, the route we're going to do next is going to come back through these tunnels. Right, 2.4 miles until we arrive in Springville. What a great route, actually, along the side of the Clyde. Really nice train. Uh... Not only did we watch this file on YouTube, but I will put a link down in the description below to it. It's the Suburban Glasgow Northwest Springburn to 
something. I had to look right. Spring burn to something line. The other train is diesel. Is it? Uh, oh, what, the 158? Oh, yeah, DMU. Well, perhaps we'll do... We'll do another electric one, and then we'll, we'll finish on some diesel. Yeah, there is a market for train sim. Uh, thank you very much, Tom. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Very good. And hi, dear market. So yeah, we'll do another 320 route, and then we'll finish off with some diesel action then. Well, depending on how long the scenarios are, of course. We'll have a look when we finished. I'm quite liking the train, actually. Oh, is there an AP version of this? Ooh. Okay, now I'm interested. £14.99. pence. Okay, that might have to be a thing then. Because I think this is quite nice. Okay, so we got 1.2 miles until Springburn. Oops, finger slipped. Modeling and sounds are far superior. I think this sounds awesome. Shame that the line's so laggy. No, no Indian fella there. Right, mile to go till Springburn. No one, no one got my musical reference. Have I got the HML merge? No. Ah, oh, you spotted it, Peanut. You're not stupid if you look, are you? Slowing down. Right, don't stop at this one, don't stop at this one, don't stop at this one. Lello Light. Platform three. Slowing Brigadoon. Is that the village that only appears once every ten years or something? I remember watching a film once. Called, I think it was called Brigadoon. Every hundred years. That's a long time to wait. Certainly if you leave the, ha leave the house in the morning, forget your lunch. Get out of the village, go to go back and the village is gone. Oh, for God's sake. Right, coming into Springburn. And then we'll do another scenario. And then we'll end up on some diseases. What a really nice line. I really like the train. Emergency brake setting. Why have you set the emergency brakes? I wasn't doing anything wrong. 
I wasn't speeding. Why have you done that? Why would you do that? That does sound quite nice, though. Now that sounds good. You gotta admit that sounded good. <laughs> sounds like the camshaft out of oil. Sounds like my car did last week. Blimey. Right, okay, so first scenario done. We'll then do another one in the 320. And I said they were ending the diesel. Well done, driver. You have successfully completed this peak hour journey. Uh, 633. It's not bad for me, I suppose. Uh, right, it was uh, down here somewhere, wasn't it? L. I've got my alphabet. Ah. Oh. <laughs> S did Somerset, South London, South Wales, South West, Southern Glasgow. There we go. <laughs> wow. Uh, what is a 61 in the, the 158? Okay, so we, mm, we could do we do it while we gone time wise. We're okay. We'll do this one and then we'll do the 158 one. Saturday service morning from Belgrove to Balak via Singer. Oh, that's different. Okay, we'll do that one. Have you got the loading time update? What loading time update? Soon you'll be able to drive from London to Weymouth in Train Sim 2021. Oh, what if they had in the old line? Because that would be cool. Uh, I remember seeing a train go along there when I was uh, put a, a wee slip of a boy uh, down to the um, down to the ferry, and that hasn't run for what uh, thirty years. Dovetail games improve loading times. We need to do a launch command. Well, loads are right for me. Good morning, driver. Today you are picking up uh, an Airdrie to Ballock service uh, to Belgrove. Take the train. Load of unhappy day trippers for a rainy day by Loch Lomond. Open the doors and prepare for departure at ten past ten. The way of tramway. Yeah, the one that goes right down to where the um, the Condor ferry used to go. That'd be cool to have that. Uh, oh, we're doing open the doors. That'd probably help, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, it's, it's shut now. Completely. I've seen a couple of YouTube videos on it. But yeah, I remember seeing a train on it when I was younger. I think I've actually gone down there once. Because we used to go across to Jersey a lot. And Guernsey when I was a kid. And we used to go from Weymouth. I'm sure I got off the train there once and got onto the ferry. Because I'm sure I remember looking out the back of the train going along the streets. Because that would be really cool. Right, so this time we're going uh, Belgrove, uh, High Street, Glasgow Queen Street, Charing Cross, Partick, uh, Hindland. So one of the ones we didn't stop at. Uh, Annie's Land, uh, Westerton, uh, Drum Chapel, Drumree, Singer, uh, Dalmuir, Dumbarton, Dumbarton, uh, Dalriok, Renton, uh, Alexandria, and Ballock. That's a lot of the stoppy places. Does that say bollock? Passengers now boarded the train. Please proceed. Stop beeping at me. Please proceed at 10.10 10 to next timetable stop. I will if you stop. Just stop beeping at me. Uh, 
Right, 0.65 of the miles. I know it's just the guard's buzzer. I'm just... I'm, it was a... Okay. No. I, just, someone else will explain. know what the buzzer is after god x num hundreds of hours in train sim it's interrupted me i was speaking it could have waited till i'd finished speaking before he pressed his buzzery thing god. flipping interrupted me did he know i was speaking right 0.36 of the miles and we arrive at the uh, the, the high street I wonder if they got Greg's. Crane. Those things just always look really precarious to me. Right, first stop. High Street, uh, the platform one. Lots of horns in tunnels this evening. Well, if you're going to get horny somewhere, I want to get horny in a tunnel. <laughs> First stop, High Street, Platform 1. See, he's got his coat on. He's sensible. Stupid haircut, but he's got his coat on. Wow, you've got a... That's a shirt. Do you wear cords? Is he a geography teacher? Because geography teachers are the only people that ever wear cords. Passengers now boarded on to Glasgow, Queen Street. Yeah, the mod caught that. Nico. You've never been to Glasgow. I've never been to Glasgow. Been to Edinburgh. Well, what's the point of me? Why am I putting that wiper on? Because I'm only looking out of this window. Yeah, I just had to. It sounds too good. I haven't noticed that before. I haven't been horny in the tunnel before. It's, it's a new thing. It's a whole new experience for me. <laughs> right. Glasgow Queen Street. Bing. Breaking, lots of it, not much of it. Oh, there we go. Oh, we stopped. Oh, we got two ticks. Two ticks is good. We like two ticks. So Glasgow, then Charing Cross. Why are we going to London? That seems a bit out of the way. Uh, Partick, uh, Hindland, then Annie'sland, Westerton, Drum Chapel, Drumree, Singer, Pearls, a singer, uh, Dalmuir, Dumbarton, Dumbarton, uh, Dalriok, Renton. Alexandria and uh, Balak. You better not blow your horn in the Queen's Tunnel. Well, Prince Philip ain't around. No. No, I'm not gonna. No. I'm not finishing that. No. Uh, passengers. At the time of uh, streaming, shut up. At the time of streaming this, for anyone watching on YouTube, Prince Philip impro oh, improving yeah. in hospital. At the time I streamed this, Prince Philip was improving 
in hospital. If anything has happened between me streaming this and it going on YouTube, let's just bow our heads in... Um... There we go. Uh, right. Uh... <laughs> Gamli... <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. He's not... What the hell have I got? Where's the break? No, no, no. He's improving, apparently. He has changed hospitals, yeah. Blowing your horn in the Queen's Tunnel might clear out some of that dust. Right, Ch Charrying Cross. Oh, made me laugh. Charrying Cross coming up. In the... Oh, we can do the other one. Hang on. Wow, double hornage. Ah. You've got a rife piff for desert. Okay, that was uh, words. And you're, you're here live for a change. Well, I'm here live for a change. I'm normally recording. Right, into Charion Cross. So yeah, tomorrow night, for those of you watching live, uh, the first time in five months, going to be streaming some X-Plane. Uh, doing a trip in Nazebo from Denver to Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I was going to start singing, but I've forgotten how it went after that. Um, which I'm really looking forward to. And then on the Friday, what's tomorrow? Friday is the, uh, the, the bus company OMSI thing. Well, at the moment, I might change my mind on that one. So I'm not really feeling omsy. Right, Charing Cross, we have arrived at. Oh, more tickies. Oh, yeah. Hope it'll go well. Yeah, Pina will be there with us, so of course it'll go well. Where? Exactly. I couldn't think of the... I couldn't think of the next line of the song. Passengers now boarded the train. I try, see, you tried to catch me out. Please proceed at 10.17 so the next timetable stop at Partick. But I've got to wait 11 hours, uh, 58 minutes and 30 seconds now then for, for 10.17. Or should I just... I'll just go late. Tell you what. Let's do that. I did a whole thing there all by myself. Um, Manch, Manch, good afternoon. Even, I don't know what... Evening, afternoon. If what Frankie Ball said in an M, uh, MTW episode a long time ago holds any truth, blowing a horn in the Queen's Tunnel might exercise some demons too. Well, there you go. Why are we driving? I think it's a train. Could be a train. I'm not sure. It's laggy. Right, one. Well, that's a noise. Uh, TTV, TTV, TTV. Thomas, uh, thank you very much for the uh, the hosty thing. Right, 1.46544 of the miles until we get to the, the Partick. It is sounding good for your headphones, yeah. That sounds really good for your headphones. I am enjoying getting my horn on. It's this thing. It's the, the, the 320303. 77901. As a wall! 77901 if you want the, the numbers. 
twatted by a wall. Wall simulator, that's probably a thing. It's probably a builder simulator where you build a wall. So bricklayers come home at night and just bricklaying sim. There's some lag right there. Right, Partick is uh, coming up in the in the uh, in the less than a mile now, and then it'll be the places beyond the Thunderdome. There's a road with cars on it. Hello, car people. We've got to stop coming up around here. Right, 0.49 of the the uh, the milliscules uh, before the, um, the the stoppy place. They caught that. Yeah, people keep tra calling them train stations. They're not. They're called stoppy places. You're probably no. You will be there tomorrow, Pino. You have told us you will be there. You will be there. Because people call them bus stops. No, no, no. It's st it's stoppy places. Train stations. Train stations. I can't even say it. Platforms. That's the one. Well, they're shoes. So how can they be a place for the train stops as well? It's the train stoppy place. The bus stoppy place. The train stoppy place. The plane stoppy place. See, it, there's, they should rename them. Where are you going to? I'm going to go get on the bus from the bus stoppy place. Then I'll get on the train from the train stoppy place and get the train to the plane stoppy place. People will know exactly what you're on about and where you're going. It'll make perfect sense. And when you get the other end, you'll go to the higher car stoppy place and pick up a higher car. See, I, I'm, just, I'm just a genius. Stoppy thing simulator. Exactly. <laughs> you have a tram stoppy place, a bus stoppy place, a taxi stoppy place. Trains, planes, boat, boat stoppy place. See, people know exactly what you meant. You've got an interesting fact. Okay, can we take a vote, people? Passengers are now boarded the train. Please proceed at 10.21 to next timetable stop at Hindland. Cable car stoppy place. See, there's just so many opportunities. Every journey has a start and finishing point. Wrong. Explain the circle line in London. Or a merry-go-round. Yeah, or the M25. <phone rings> the next station stop is Highland. Get off of here if you're going to Highland. It wasn't an interesting fact. It wasn't a factual fact either, because there's a difference. If it had been factual but not interesting, could have forgiven him. Interesting but not factual, could have forgiven him. It wasn't interesting or factual. There we go, 33 seconds. You realise, Pina, though, he's probably given up now and gone to watch Omzi, uh, that even if you are in voice tomorrow, Sam has still got the ability to mute you. Right, Heinland. Home of the Heinz. It's where the Heinz live. They've got a museum and everything. Well, if I talk too much, you can mute me. <laughs> All right, so uh, Balak. It's not very nice, is it? Uh, oh, lots of ticks. So Heinland and then the Annie's, Annie's Land. 
uh, Westerton, uh, Drum Chapel, Drum Reed, Singer, Pearls, the Singer, uh, Dalmuir, Dumbarton, Dumbarton Central, uh, Dariuk, Renton, Alexandria, and then Balak. Passengers now boarded the train. I was waiting for the beep. Uh, please proceed with caution. With caution. Uh oh. To the next timetable stop at Annie's Land. Why you say caution? It's like less than a mile away. What can go wrong? I'm not Scottish, am I? I don't know how these things are pronounced. I couldn't even pronounce New Ardley Boo. So, you know, what hope is there for any of us? Right, and his land. And his land is the, um, the the place. I'm slightly concerned why it said caution. Caution. Mind the speed limit. Do you ever listen to me? Not really. The tracky changey, what's it? You're listening to me. You don't listen to anybody, Pina. Uh, I, I'm feeling quite odd <laughs> this evening. Well, it's Train Sim. Train Sim just brings out the weirdness in me. And Omzi. Noodly Boo. Noodly Boo. Exactly. See, Noodly Boo's better. It is. They should rename it Noodly Boo. And, you know, just officially put Juno in Canada. Problem solved. Okay. Yeah, could someone want to want to explain something to Peanut there? Junardly Boo. Oh, I hope the flight sim shows on this year. I've still got my Alaska hoodie. Right, point three zero of the miles. Juno is in Canada. No, Juno is in Alaska. I said it was in Canada. That's where the whole thing happened with, you know, Sam and Tux taking the mickey out of me. And everybody taking the mickey out of me. You know, chaos goes wrong once you get to Compass. Um, Blinky get, can't find a field on the farm, gets reputation. Sam likes landing on cabbage fields once. And on water, you know, things happen. You make one simple mistake. Yeah, but you, you never make mistakes. Really. We've seen what you wear, Peanut. You make a mistake every day. I'm quite sure I never made the fun of that. 39 nautical miles. It was so close. 39 miles. I never did the whole t-shirt thing for the uh, for Sims and stuff. But if I had it done, just one with 39 miles on, which I, I think that would have just been class. Or I, I did start looking at a, a hoodie just with Noodly Boo on the back. Because it would be hilarious if people were wearing it. Because someone would come up to you, someone you knew if you wore it more than once, would come up to you and go at some point, why, why have you got a hoodie with noodly boo written on it and the fact that you'd have to explain it I think would just be hilarious right green light he said his name was Susan that's that's a good line as well right 1.28 of the miles to Westerton so we'll do this scenario in the 320 and there's one we can do uh, with some diseasely action well, I would walk 39 nautical miles. And I would walk 39 nautical miles more. Just to be the man that walks uh, 78 miles to Canada. That doesn't quite work. You have to rewrite the lyrics of 500 miles to fit now. 
send them to that family, the Marshall family, whatever it is, that are doing those uh, songs where they're rewriting lyrics. That's quite horny. I, I am impressed with the horniness. Oh, is it shower time for Peanut? Oh, nearly speeding. Yeah, to most people, if they were leaving the stream now and having a shower, 15 minutes, something like that. Yo, bro. <laughs> You're just trying all sorts of things, aren't you, NT? <laughs> How many red lights? None. I think your Alaskan hoodie and our Canada tops got you noticed by a couple of folks. And one very disappointed Canadian lady. Oh, that was just brilliant. Asking what part of Canada you're from. You're going, we're not. <laughs> we're wearing tops from Canada as a joke. <laughs> she wasn't impressed. The fact that I didn't see that Tux had two, two huge Canada flags flying from the top of his van when I got there. That was the worst bit. When was this? This was the flight sim show year before last. Oh, it was brilliant. Sam turned up in a Canada top. Tux had a Canada top. So Tux had two, probably four foot high flags flying from the top of his van. Um, and I only noticed when I met him in the cafe that he had his Canada top on. And I, I called him a word. He said, did you spot the flags? I said, what flags? I'd walked past his van outside. And he left the flags on his van outside the show all day. Oh, it was, it was brilliant. You couldn't... Oh, that was just awesome. That's how odd the Sims and Stuff community is. And then we put a sticker on the back of Gaz's car. <laughs> With Fox Anne written on it because he drove a Volkswagen Fox. So we put a sticker on his windscreen that just said Fox Anne. So I had to distract him while uh, while that was done. So yeah, we're, we're a nice bunch. Uh, passengers now boarded the train. Please please proceed at 10.30 to next timetable stop at Drum Chapel. We're after that, so we can go. Yeah, that went well. And the fact that I passed him going down the motorway as well with just this Fox Anne sticker on his rear window. It was just brilliant. I was just chuckling to myself as I drove past. Oh... Right, a mile to go to uh, Drum Chapel. What a great line this is, actually. Apart from the lag. So yeah, hopefully there'll be a flight sim show this year. Even if you're not into flight, it's uh, the um, RAF Cosford is really interesting to walk around. Um, and free to get in. You just pay for parking. Yeah, he did. He flew to the States next day. So he left his, his car parked outside his parents' house with that on for like three weeks. Right, half a mile to go until Drum Chapel. So yeah, we'll finish this scenario. Uh, and then we'll do the diseasily one. So, slightly longer stream this evening. After Easter, all the streams will be returning to their 7pm starts. Because I'll be back at work full time then. Breaking and stopping. Yeah, Convoy in the Park's a good day out. Um, again, we had it booked last year, but they changed it. It went from being Convoy in the Park to just the uh, truck racing. 
which was really enjoyable. We had five of us uh, there. Uh, it would have been a few more, I think, if it had been convoy in the park. So that's been confirmed so far this year. Um, flight sim shows normally October. And hopefully that's so far in advance that that will still go on in some sort of form. Um, that'll be good. Passengers now boarded. Please proceed at 10.33 to next timetable stop at Drumree. In less than uh, a mile. Yeah, definitely liking this train. I am not normally a fan of electrics, but the audio in this is really nice. Right, so there's Drumree and then there's Singer. Bells of Singer. Uh, coming up straight after that. With some lag. Graph sparking. Yes, we are. <laughs> it's great getting a name check. <laughs> Why, well, your name Pearl? Right, into Drumry. And stop. Please refrain from blowing your horn whilst inside the singer. Wow. I should try and resist. Resistance is futile. I'm running out of jelly tots. That's a bigger problem right now. Right, Singer is coming up. Passengers now boarded the train. Please proceed at 10.35. So the next timetable stop at Singer. Not very far apart these stations up here, are they? Definitely a bit of a wet day. It's quite a nice day. Well, a couple of days when I was in Scotland. It was in August though, but it doesn't mean anything in the UK. It doesn't matter. Just stuck these boxes on top. Where can we stick that? I'll oh, just shove it up there. Just, just screw it on the top there. It'd be fine. I'm supposed to put my iPad. I'm supposed to put my iPad up there when I'm watching Netflix. Just stick it up there on the top. It'll be all right. Well, I mean, you just don't get wet, do you, Peanut? Right. Singer is up here. You're not supposed to just get in the sta shower, stand under the water, get out, and then you you've had a shower. You are supposed to actually wash yourself. You know, shower gel and loofah and all that sort of stuff. Mm. Uh, wow, right on the zeros. Have you got lots of ticks? Uh, we're doing okay so far. Quite a few stops still to go. You smell of unicorns. Does anybody know what a unicorn smells like? It smells like peanut. Mm. 
That's quite horny. That's long. Please proceed at 10.37 to the next beep beep at uh, Dalmuir. <laughs> no, she'll do that later when she tucks me into bed. 2.20, single to Balak from here. 2.20, single Balak. Wow. If they smell anything like horses, that's not so good. You don't get talcum powder. Oh, Pina. Of course, you're too tight to buy your own shower gel, so you use your mum's. Such a man. Right, down your half a mile. I'll take a pair of ballocks for £4.40 then, please. I wonder how many people... Well, I suppose you don't go to many ticket offices anymore. People say return to Ballocks, please. He was complimented for your hair smell. That's nothing that any man should ever be complimented for. Hi, Hillsman. Or Frederick, as you're known in Discord. What have you just walked into? Pineapple's hair smells of unicorns, apparently. Right, so that's down here. Then uh, Dumbarton East, Dumbarton Central, Dalriuk, because I got corrected on that. Uh, Renton, Alexandria, and then Balak. have an uncle called Fred. Well, you got called Fred on the other last stream, didn't you? Because it suited you. Your hair smells of apples. There's just... He's never going to be a... Well, I'm not, I'm not going to say it. I think Pina's now taken over the role from Dylan of the campest person on the streams and in the Discord. Right. Uh, oh, got five miles? Okay, five miles to Dumbarton East. Lander. I'm as straight as can be. The fruitiest ginger. <laughs> There's just no man should ever be complimented on how nice their hair smells. It's just like, wow. Oh, you're on the pool. I hope you got his phone number then, Pina. Right. Five miles to Dumbarton. Yeah, it's not quite the same. The horn... I'm not a fan of the... Uh, the non-enclosed horn. You know, your open air horn isn't as nice as your, your tunnel horn. It's just not got the same, you know. No, 
knows because Pina can't spell lol. Uh oh, that's some speedage. Got a really great line. If anybody's got this far on YouTube, uh, I can highly recommend this line. If you're looking for something um, sort of hour long route each way, I'm sure there'll be some workshop scenarios for it as well. Uh, I will put a link to it in the doobly doo below. LOL is complicated. sound nice. Oops. Uh, right, where are we? Oh, I'm doing the speedage. Some speedage is happening. There's a multicoloured river. Because I like that in Scotland, they're all multicolour. They're all just full of uh, iron brew and um, what's that? Uh, McEwan's? What's the Scottish strong lager thing they drink? Oh, I've made my thing small. That's better. Guineas. Tenants. Tenants. Tenants Super. Buckfar. No, not in Scotland, is it? <laughs> Actually, is that what Peter's been drinking? That would explain his hair. Petrol. Bells. I used to drink Bells back in the day. You haven't had anything for Agua. Oh, okay, really? I had some agua once. I had to get some cream from the doctors. Bit of famous grouse. Do they drink bells in Balak? <laughs> Can I go into a pub in Balak? Can I have, is, this, is this the Balak Inn? Oh, the Balak Inn. Oh, I like that. I did that whole thing. Oh, please tell me there's a there's a pub in Balak called the Balak Inn. Oh, there's some lag. I'm doing a slowing down by quite some considerable amount just there. Right, so coming along the side of the river, Clyde. It's sad when you finish your whiskey. It's always sad when you get get to the bell's end. <laughs> oh, Sam. That was almost, almost bad. Almost so bad. It was actually quite good. <sighs> if you have a single one, is that a bell? So if you get to the end of that. Whoever orders a single whiskey? That's just, it's just gone. It evaporates time you get, you get, what the hell's going on with that wiper? There we go. Google says no ballock in. Oh, right. We need to open a pub. The ballock in. Actually, the ballock in needs to be at um, Roy Bridge. Need, need the, the pub called the Ballock Inn at Roy Bridge. There's a Ballock House Hotel. That's not quite the same. There needs to be a Ballock Inn. Poor Roy. I know. Sims and Ballocks. Well, a lot of the time, actually.
See, you missed the, miss the good ones. You never watched that OMSI stream with the hill. Was he pushed? Just did go to prove that you can uh, drown in yellow snow. Ballocks and stuff. <laughs> uh, that's actually, that sounds more like it on most of the multiplayer ones. Oh, a bit of pantograph sparkage. Oh, there's some lag. There we go. And stop. Right, that's Dumbarton East. Where's my... No, that one. Uh, oh, Christ, we've got a few to go. Dumbarton Central, Dariuk, Renton, Alexandria, and Balak. Get that on a t-shirt, yeah. Ballocks and stuff. I just talk ballocks. Wait, I bet just talking a load of ballocks, like... Passengers have now boarded the train. Please proceed at 10.48 to next... Shut up beeping at me! Please proceed at 10.48 to next timetable stop at Dumbarton Central. Thank you all. Me and that guard are going to have words when I get to the other end. Interrupting me when I'm trying to do the conversionalism. That's a word. Don't Google it. Don't let Trent try and spell it. Why are these stoppy places so... No, that's loud. Why are these stoppy places so close together? Surely you don't need the it's like three stations within like two miles. They could get rid of two of them. Just make people walk a bit further. Uh, to signal that uh, he's ready, basically. Doors are closed, train's ready to proceed. In case you get people like Pina getting on the train, I just want to lick the windows on the way on and stuff. She's got to get them on, stop licking things. So he signals the driver when he's ready to go. Minus 1,739 points. Doing well. Doing really well. we put the other wiper on we can't can we there's no wiper there is no hang on someone stole it. have we got no wiper on the other side there is a wiper there's probably a control for that oh passengers now boarded the train please proceed at 10.50 to next timetable stop at Dalryuk we can do that we can do that and then that you don't lick windows you're not a freak well, you are a bit. Pino will just be pressing the toilet door buttons. Yeah, he, he's going to end up at some point in his life in public toilets in a park somewhere with holes in the cubicles. I'll just leave you to finish that. Um, is what you'll say. Um... Hello, YouTube. <laughs> There's some braking going on there. Quite a lot of it, in fact. <laughs> oh, Sam. Bing, um, and not Chandler, or the search engine. Um, 
Darriot, Renton, Alexandria, and Balak. Oh, tr swapping the tracky things. So we're going over there. <laughs> YouTube demonetization in three, two. Passengers now boarded the trip. Look, stop doing the BP when I'm trying to do the talking. Passengers have now boarded the train. Please proceed at 10.52 to the next timetable stop at Renton. Wasn't he the guy that did the shaver adverts? I liked it so much, I bought the company. That was Remington. It was close. He said to finish it, so he did. <laughs> and it's true. Basically the same thing, yeah. Yeah, no one's going to watch this far on YouTube. We all know that. You lick auto doors. It could have been worse. I could have said cottage, cottages, cheese. Oh. You could have done. It's good. Wow. Uh, someone thought at that point, subscribe. Three months already. I can't believe I'm mad enough to have liked, commented, and subscribed. I'm a third of the way to being born now. Huzzah! Thank you, John. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, don't Google that, Peanut. Right, 1.2 miles to Renton. So yeah, tomorrow night, for those of you that just joined, maybe, or that have you know, been asleep for a, for a while, uh, the first stream in about five months uh, in uh, X-Plane, The Return, uh, tomorrow night. Uh, Friday night, yeah, it could be changed. I was going to do bus company sim, but I don't think I might. Um, Saturday is NIMBY Rails. Saturday evening is Wreckfest. I don't know what's going to happen Sunday yet. What does this button do? Nothing. This. Google George Michael. Google George Michael public toilet. No, don't do that. Don't Google that. Right, Renton coming up. With some leg. No, Dylan. Who is... J Sam, you know what to do. Who is... Jo I, Pina only listens to 80s music. How... Just, uh, what did... Nas, I, I would say thank you, but mm, thank you, Nas, for, you know, that's a minute of our lives we're not going to get back now. There you go, Nas. Right, 1.14 miles to uh, Alexandria. Pina's still now trying to work out who uh, George Michael is. Always given up and gone to play Omzi. Someone ought to do that every time I honk the horn. God, no. I had like four times or five times on the trot in the stream the other day. It does get to you after a while. 
Well, you're a bit of an ass, Peanut. It's V. It's five letters. Two of them are the same. How could you get them in the wrong order? Actually, this is this is someone who can't spell lol. Right, Alexandria. Isn't that in um, the 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 where where in the world is Alexandria? Uh, opposite the uh, the Gibraltar place. It's over there, isn't it? The other side of the water from Gibraltar. Huh. That was a thing. The Egypt, Tangiers. No, not Alexandra Palace. The place Alexandria. It's not Nigeria. Bosun. Bosun's to be. It's not in Ghana. Oh, blimey. We need to be at Simpsons stuff geography lesson. Hang on, hang on. Alexa, where is Alexandria? Alice Kandaria. No, not Alice Kandaria. Alexa, where is Alexandria? Alice Kandaria. No, you stupid cow. <laughs> oh, what hope is there? Is he, even if <laughs> Alexa doesn't know. Okay, we'll try this again. Alexia, what country is Alexandria in? The UN recognized country that Alexandria is in is Egypt. There you go. Which someone did get. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jersey. <laughs> try saying R. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, it's, been, it's been one of those from the very beginning. It's not in Luton. Passengers are now aboarded the train. <laughs> Please proceed at 10.58 to the next timetable stop at Bollock. Alice Kandaria. I, I, what? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Asking Alexandria. I even called her Alexandria. Decent band. Yeah, I saw their first tour. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, one mile to go to Bollock. Who is, who is Alexandrite? No idea. Bodicea. No, not Bodicea. <laughs> this, this just spiralled. It just really has. It's, it's there. It's written there. Look. Bollock. That's noisy. Right. Final stop of this scenario. And then we're going to do another scenario. I don't know why I do this to myself. I only used to do a two-hour stream. What's happened to my life? Where did it all go wrong? Entering Paddock. Sparkage. There's the button, not that one. I think it was my fault. A lot of things are your fault. Right, we are now uh, coming slowly into Bullock. Why did you... Oh, I was going too fast into Balak. Hang on, people. I haven't arrived yet. See? Balak. Right. 
Right, we'll, we'll stop when we get all the way. There we go. Don't enter Balak too fast. Why end up with a, a ruptured Balak? Chips, everyone's favourite. Really? Oh, that's some zoomage. Hang on, give me a zoom there. I'm trying to get the sign. Balak and Bilak. And chips, everyone's favourite. Too fast, your Balaks are swinging the wind. That happens with age. Well done, driver. You have successfully completed the scenario. Really? <laughs> you call that a success? And I scored zero. Yay, me! <laughs> right, one more to do then. Uh, much scrolling. Lots of scrolling. Uh, so the summit say, uh, where are we again? Which is suburban, isn't it? So that's to be southwestern. Suburban Glasgow. Right. Run to the hills. A test train from the Corker Hill Depot to Helensburg Upper, starting at the northeastern end of the City Union line, coupled with the second unit at the Eastfield Depot. Uh oh, some coupling. I never really got into that TV series. Apparently, it was quite good. It wasn't really a thing for me, coupling. Iron Bladder. I have got one of those. North uh, Queensbury. Oh, here we go. In 2020, the Class 158 DMU was finally signed off for use on the West Highland Line. Today, you're driving a test run as far as the Helensburg Upper. Uh, when the Ardry train in front clears Belgrove in a couple of minutes, then proceed to Springburn for further destructions we've got diesel we have diesel so wait for that train to go past wiper that's a little one I think it's pronounced like Pro 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 pronounced like Edinburgh, so Helensburgh. Yeah, whatever. Oh, that's not as good. Right, stop at Spring Burn in 2.89 of the, uh, the micros. I feel claustrophobic in here now. Have we got a window? No, we haven't got a window. Helen's brother. Yeah, you know Helen's brother. Frank. Just call it Frank. <laughs> Edinburgh to Frank. Helen's brother, you know, the one? Him with the, you know, that had the, uh, you know, the thing that went, you know, abroad for six months. Uh oh. It's, she's back. Uh, no, John. Hubert is a dad. He's called Hubert nowadays. Come on, lights. My horn isn't as horny in this train. Not as many switches either. Come on. Oh, Fraser's brother. That was Frank. Frank's Fraser's brother and, and Helen's brother. How long did it take that train to clear the lights? Oh, there we go. Is that yellow? No, it's red still. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stand it. There we go, that's yellow. Okay, we're okay. I just don't like any train where you look for these stupid little porthole things. 
blame Lawa. I could have quite happily have done another 320 journey. I was like, oh no, there's a disease or... Right, 20 coming up. So I don't know what they are. I don't know the numbers. I know 142 is a pacer and 166, like, the really slow thing. That's, uh, that's about all I know. One year later. Train is a train. Uh, now, if we said that about buses, you would disagree. Oh, that's going to be some speedage. Ooh, nearly some speedage. Yep, see ya. Okay, it's not bad. Peanut has no use for big tubes. This is true. Oh, it does sound quite nice when uh, accelerating in the tunnel. That's a noise. Did you hear BCS stream soon? I was going to do it Friday, but I might not bother now because, you know, life's too short. I'll see how my mood takes me uh, X plan were on Friday. X plane is tomorrow. Right, 40 coming up in the tunnel. And how da W Pina say it's just a frame. There you go. See, it just proves that you know, everyone that watches can spell. West Caltry 3 is out. Can no, has nobody got the ability to spell anymore? Yeah, I won't be going anywhere near West Country 3. Never played the first two, so why would I do the second, third one? You played Best Busted West Country 2.9, did I? Oh, it's, it's Buses of West Country. They just called it West Country now. That's cheating. Oh, I quite like that. Yeah, I played that because they changed things in the first one. <laughs> exactly. What's with all the spelling? No one needs to spell correctly. Right, spring burn in 1.5 miles. I'm guessing it did say I got a couple up to another thing at some point. So hang on. So this was... This was cleared for use on the West, on the West Highland line, not this line. Uh, so we're taking it on a trip to... Uh, I see... Scunthorpe 2020 as well. Problem is, all those free routes just attract all the 12 year olds and all the OMS the idiots. So I just try and avoid them. No offence there, Hillsman, because you and Peanut you know, fall into that second category, and Peanut nearly falls into the first category. Um, Right, a mile to go until we get to Springburn. Oms the idiot. The first category is the 12-year-olds. The second category is the Oms the idiots. I can't wait till I stop doing Omsi. It's where I call my last Omsi video. Before I uh, retire from this malarkey. Uh, Pina is both categories. He is indeed. I 
third category are delivery moped idiots. Well, they don't play OMSI, do they? Well, we had someone... Um, what was we playing the other day? Oh, it was on about the bus. We were doing a stream the other day and someone mentioned the bus and will it be free? I was like, no. He said, oh, I'll just wait to get a, a repack then. So already the 12 year olds, anything that comes out as paid DLC, they just will wait until someone packs it and they can get it for free. Which means that none of the youngsters nowadays have got an appreciation for money. Yeah, idiot indeed. This isn't my station. I'll just keep going then. Where's the guy who changed their name? Got banned. I just get frustrated with it. Because the problem is the youngsters can get this stuff illegally. And now that's all they want to do. But they don't understand that, well, how does this stuff get created in the first place? People have got to do it. Um, so there are games publishing companies and the companies that... Um, are creating the content they've got to pay their people to create this content which means that money has to come from somewhere where does it come from then the money fairies well exactly so i've always said anybody that ever enters any of the streams and mentions getting something free is in any of the discords or mentions anything for uh, on YouTube mentioning about getting something for free they will be removed right finally in the, in the correct place now uh, you were told this earlier Nico weren't you it's just base game It's oh hello, why is it doing that? It's uh Exactly. That's why we have to pay more for stuff because they keep nicking it. It was great, you know, when I had my first paper round or cleaning job, I did it for when I was at school. Uh from Springburn proceed to East Field Depot 1836 and couple to unit one five eight seven four oh. I only got a job because I wanted to buy things. So the only way you could have things was to get a job. So at 14 I got a paper round, at 15 I was doing a cleaning job after school um, that gave me money to buy things. Now they just go, well, I'm not doing that. You want me to go work? No, I'll just get it for free. And a lot of youngsters rely on the the bank of mum and dad. But you want things, go out and earn the money for it. Anyway, I shall uh, get off my little soapbox. Right, Eastfield sidings coming up in 0.57 of the miles. I got a couple to another thing and then go and do a thing with the things. More things. Many, much longer, bigger things. The problem is, Pina, it makes it harder for games companies because those people that are then pirating the, the, the software aren't buying it, which means the games companies 
um, aren't making money from it. So it's tougher for them then because they go, hang on a minute. Like they look on Steam and go, how are all these people playing our game when there's more people playing it than we sold copies for? Are you stealing another train? Well, no, I've been told to couple to a train. Wow, he's going fast. Right, I think it's a five mile an hour limit down here then. Hopefully the signals have been set correctly. Otherwise this is going to end badly. Guessing it's that train all the way down there. Yeah, indeed. And the problem is it, it's a generational thing now. When I was younger, we had respect for elders. We had a respect for the police. We had respect for our teachers. We had respect for our neighbours. Um, because you didn't go upsetting anybody, even at your local shop. You didn't go upsetting anybody because you don't know who that person told. And then you got back to your parents. Now, no one's got respect for anybody. Yeah, but you probably find that the kids that are playing that are probably pirated in the first place. Anyway. Right, got a couple with this train down here. And now I'm guessing go the other way. Well, which I agree with the capital punishment thing. I agree with the fact that, well, sort of. I'm not going to get in a hole about, you know, parents not able to hit their kids. Um, but, you know, the amount of times at school I had bits of chalk thrown at me <laughs> by the teacher because you weren't paying attention. He never went and reported that teacher. You never went home and told your parents. And if you did, your parent would then go, well, you should have been paying attention. Right. And we come to do the cut. Oh, actually, unless we're going to drive out that way in that one. Ah, see, I thought we were going to go back that way. But we could be going out frontage ways. Because that's the thing. Frontage way. And yeah, I successfully coupled to 158740. Now change ends, prepare to depart East Thingy What's It Depot. You did not complete the actions in Eastfield Depot successfully. But I did. That's me gonna end the scenario now. Uh, which way am I going? This way, I'm guessing. It can't be that way. It's got to be the other way. Cow lands up. Yeah, that way. Okay. Wiper on. Oh, yes. We're longer now.
I'm speeding. Oh yeah, there is some speeding slightly. Don't ignore the speeding. I wasn't speeding. There's more of the, the speediness going on now. Alright, so we've got to stop up here. Thing is, it's not the minority peanut, it's the majority. There's about, like, nine teenagers outside my neighbour's house yesterday. Because they've got two teenage sons. Well, they're not all from the same household, are they? The only thing person you can blame there are the parents for letting those teenagers out of the house to go meet their other friends. And we wonder why it all spreads. Uh, yes, Ranch Sim says either going to be uh, Sunday afternoon, possibly. Uh, if not, then it'll be Monday. Yeah, exactly, Dylan. Right, really slow through here. But yeah, we want to. Um, we got to get some. Uh, we need to do some more hunting. So send Trent out in the dark again. Because we need to get another pig. And we need to get a bigger chicken house. And then look at building that radio tower. See what that does. Well, the world's slowest. Just get out and walk by the side of the train. Apparently pigs can't breed yet. Have we got neutered pigs? Has someone deballocked our, our pigs? Oh, now it's a 15. Who neutered you? You should be neutered. Actually, makes no difference, does it? Why should I be neutered? Actually, well, there's no risk of you fathering a child, is there? So, you're okay. So, we just have to buy them from the shop, shoot them and sell their meat. Well, that's not very nice. You can't just buy a pig. Hang on, just save feeding them then. Just buy them at the shop, shoot them. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I wonder... I wonder if... Uh, what if you bought the pig, shot it, peeled it, and then sold its meat back to the... Back to the thing. Yeah. I wonder if you make more money. No, hang on. Do you only get three bits of meat? Just <laughs> thank you, my pig. Bang. Peel it. Take it back in again. Yeah. So, hang on. So, how do you make money out of pigs then? Proceed to Dalmuir when the traffic on the main line has passed and the signal has cleared. Okay. So, we need to. Okay, I think we need to have a uh, live on stream on Sunday. We need to have a... Uh... No, because we can milk NT. Hang on, that sounds wrong. <laughs> milk me, milk me. Well, there's a sentence. <laughs> you volunteered to do the milking. Let NT know. You'll be milking him on Sunday. Again, it just sounds wrong. No one's got this far on YouTube, thankfully. They don't know what you're talking about. Well, 
Right, we've got to wait for the red to go not red, and then we can proceed. This is getting demonetized already. It'll be fine. What about milking cows? That's what we're all about. Buy the pig, kill it, skin it, return it to say it was 40. <laughs> yeah, I bought this pig. It died when its skin fell off. Yeah, sounds like a plan, Dylan. Sorry, Peanut. We're having bacon. <laughs> we, we need bacon. How can we come back after a cliffhanger yesterday? What we need to do... Hang on, this is going to go on YouTube after the next one. What we need to do is w what we need to start the stream pretty much from where the other one ended with someone on the floor. So that it will carry on. We got, we got, we got, it's got to happen. You got lost in Manchester once. I wanted to get a bus to Piccadilly from Victoria. Ended up in Bury. Bury. Never been to Manchester. Uh, hi. So it turned into some kind of ranch role play now. Oh, blimey. I need to get a bit closer to this light, other ones are going to be here for days. Oh, I know what I could do. And that might involve editing. Been a while, I noticed you were driving on the wrong side of the track. I'm waiting to cross. I've tabbed. Nothing happens. I got. I, it told me I got to wait for the uh, the the train. A long time waiting for the train. I don't know where the other train. Actually, I look on the map. Can I? Where's this other train? So I'm here waiting for that. Where's the train I'm waiting for then? There is no other train. Ah, is it that one? Hang on, which way am I going? I'm going that way. Is that the train I'm waiting for? <laughs> I've confused which what? I'm there. That's the signal I'm waiting for. Why is the train... He stopped there. He can't come past me. So in theory, the train... I must be waiting for a train coming... This way? Is it this one? That's just stopped. Yeah, something like that, Dylan. We'll uh, we'll sort something. Yeah, it won't let me go through it.
But that's, hang on, that's red, this is red, so the train's that way. Okay, this is a mystery. So that's red coming that. So the train is definitely this side that we're waiting for, but there isn't anything. That's still sat there, so that, that can't come down behind me because I'm here. Why would it do a scenario and keep me waiting this long? It just won't. There are two tracks. Yeah, but there's no other train. That's, that's what I'm trying to... The next is one train down here, which isn't going anywhere. And there's this train up here that isn't going anywhere. He stopped at Ashfield. It's an official scenario. That's very broken. Still red, still red. So there's a train down there. This is just really odd. There's me. That's that. So the signal's here in front of me. That train behind me isn't going anywhere because it can't, I suppose, because it wants to come round here. And then this other train down here isn't going anywhere. That's going the same way as me anyway. Oh, well, I'm guessing I might have to uh, cancel it. It's fine. It's not fine. we got to stop there. That's where we're going. So we've got to come round here. That's not moving. That's not moving. Either that or we're lost. Obviously nothing can come this way. Cause then I've got to come round this way. So this is the way I'm going, is round here. Ask to pass the signal. I'm sure we aren't going the wrong way. What, you reckon we should have gone? No, because it's a dead end. We can't have gone the other way. Surely we can't have gone the other way. Um, no, because we just came down here. We came... We came out of... Here? Yeah, we came out of here. Didn't we? Something's happened. Yeah, that's not moving. That one isn't moving. That is moving. There is another way round. Well, looks we've got to come down here, round there, Belgrave, and then round to here. We 
we could go backwards but then it's gonna maybe you uh, exit definitely and switch again and head the other way or around here via Ashfield try we'll try going back the other way then See what happens. Oh, fine. So it's my fault then, is what, is what we're saying now. <laughs> After all that, it was me that went the wrong way. Couldn't it come out that? So I, I should. What I should have done then is come down here, stopped, and gone backwards. I should have gone forward out the siding, come down here, and then gone backwards. Got to hope these. Uh, hope these points are right now. Did I just come out of here? Okay. Right, okay, that was my fault. Completely, there we go. Yeah, all right. No need to point it out now. You could have told me that ten minutes ago. Are you going the, are you going the right way? That's no excuse. I do feel like I'm driving with the brakes on. I think I might have to brake on the other end. Oh, no, they're off. It's okay. Right. It just seems ridiculously slow. Yeah, don't try and make me feel better, John. <laughs> It's something. It just seems like that's flat out. It should be going quicker than that, surely. <laughs> Parking brake. Yeah. There's a station brake on. I don't put another train. It just seems ridiculously uh, heavy in the coupling menu. Seems alright. 
No, I'm just about managing to get to the buggy button. Yeah, it's the buggy button on. It shouldn't be this slow. Auto pictures. Oh, the auto pictures. Yeah. Maybe that's top speed. No, this thing should be able to do 90. We're doing it's some it's brakes on somewhere. They're all on as release. Well, I'm guessing oh there's some lag. Wow, forty miles an hour flat out. Why have I got to bring this other train with me? Why can't I leave it behind? At least I can't speed. Well, there is that. Yeah, that's brake pressure. Well spotted, Trent. There we go. It said released. It wasn't fully released. I have 1.2 bar of pressure on. Well done, Trent. There's some lag. Wow. Well, maybe not a gold star. You can have a... Um, uh, oh, silver? No, not silver. Bronze. Mm, maybe not bronze. Uh, blue, brown. I have a green star. Never knew Glasgow was so laggy. Yeah, it is a bit. A pat on the head. No, you don't know where his head's been. the lag stuck under the bridge Whack. well it's definitely gonna be a long stream because you can't finish this yet don't no hit your head I'll try not to Those hills look dark over in the background. I'm going to go over there. What's that? I thought I had a train. It's down there. More lag. Not more lag. More lag. I'm getting a thunderstorm. Sounds like I'm getting shot. Sounds like I got shot. Oh, I've just thought of a brilliant way to start the uh, the ranch stream. Sorry, I was thinking. Oh, I was elsewhere then for a second. But no one's got this far on YouTube. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Noz. I was off on a tangent. Why? Well, I know that. <laughs> Right.
Right, three miles to stop at Dalmuir. So yeah, tomorrow night, for those watching that haven't lost the will to live so far, uh, we've got the return of X-Plane uh, on a stream. First time in five months um, that we've done some X-Plane flying. Uh, Pineapple will be joining us. Dylan will be joining us. Bring popcorn. And Noz, oh God. Make sure you've got X-Flight working for tomorrow, Pina. I uh, don't think Sam will be there, no. Right, 2.3 miles to go to Damyor. More lag. So if this scenario ever ends, we will end. The never-ending scenario. Ah, 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 ah. Didn't quite know where I was going with that one. I, you know what? I hate to say it. I actually prefer the Class 320 to this. I said it. Just one continuous loop. Yeah, the never ending story. So Pina's gone now because we've said he'd make sure he has something ready for tomorrow, which means he won't have it ready for tomorrow. Once you're in Glasgow, you never leave Glasgow. Is that an iron brew shop up on top of the bridge? Do they have shops? Is there like M&M World in Scotland? Is there like Iron Brew World? He won't have the CSL files installed. He won't have even tested X Flight Server. He won't have his login details for X Flight Server. And he'll say he hasn't got time, despite the fact that we all know uh, 1 p.m. tomorrow, he'll be in Omsi. Where's the space, laddie? Right, it's coming up on Dalmuir. So, more train sim next Wednesday. No idea where. This was supposed to be Leeds. That didn't happen. Um. I don't know where I'm going to end up. I, you'd think if I, you know, I'd be planning these things and know what route I'm going to do. I, I did. I was sat here at 1 o'clock this afternoon trying to work out a route, but then I didn't have the Class 150, which was a route from Leeds to York. So that would have got my roaming driver um, across to York, and then we could have gone back up the West Coast Main Line, back towards Edinburgh, and then back round the Circle Line and stuff. But I haven't got the Class 150, so I couldn't do it. at the Glasgow Transport Museum. I've never been to London Transport Museum. That's supposed to be really interesting. So York was supposed to be one of the meetups we were going to do uh, last year. Uh, the Rowing Museum didn't happen. So far we've got one planned meetup this year. Hopefully two if the flight sim shows on. Right. So we are arriving at uh, Dalmuir. Stopping. There's some stopping. That, that stopping is happening. Am I letting people off? Yeah, I've never been. Um, been to London loads of times, but never actually been into a transport museum. 
You have completed your stop at Dalmuir. Proceed at 1901 to Dumbarton Central. Well... I've got to wait now for my, for my doors to do the closing thing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think we're safe. Which means we're ten minutes late. So we were due in at uh, Dalmuir at 1901. We arrived at 1913. So 15 miles to Helen's Helen's brother. Oh, I know why Pina left. He's had his shower. Mummy's got to uh, get his get his gym jams out of the uh, tumble dryer, so they're all nice and warm for him. And then make him a cup of warm milk, and then uh, it's read him his bedtime story and uh, tuck him in. Make make sure he's got his uh, his pull up pants on, so he doesn't have any accidents overnight. Average on time Scott Rail train. Yeah, 15 minutes late. It's fine. It's fine. 15 minutes. It's all right. Was it in the, the 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 Shinkansen? If it's uh, if the train's more than I think it's like 45 seconds late or 60 seconds late, you, you get a slip um, as you leave the train to give to your employer to explain why you were late for work. It's like blimey. Uh, no, Nico. Right, so five miles to Dumbarton and then round to uh, Helen's brother. And we will be done for our two hour look at. Uh, Suburban Glasgow Northwest. It's gone well. Nailed it. Two hours. Bang on. Okay, I'm still doing the accelerating despite the fact that I've come. Oh, it's downhill. If I mean, you think I'll be of time, we'll be all right. We're on minus 16,700 points now. A bit more speeding isn't really going to hurt, is it? Right, 55. Better slow down a bit for that. Six, sixty-five, sixty-four. Oh, don't derail. I think you nailed this one. I, it's, I'm just so good at this. You got maximum pointage for this one. Tempted to slow down for the the fifty fives, making sure to do the releasing of the brakes. Release the brakes. Right, three miles to Dumbarton and then on to the final stop. So yes, looking forward to X-Plane tomorrow. So it's been, been five months since I've been in, uh, well, in a stream in X-Plane. Uh, managed to get the Zebo started and uh, took off. Couldn't quite work out the FMC. Nah, I'll be all right. Worry about that tomorrow. Um, and then uh, Friday night, not sure. Was going to do some bus company. Might do something else. Saturday's NIMBY Rails at lunchtime. Saturday night, more Wreckfest fun. 
uh, Sunday afternoon. Don't know. It'll either be the ranch sim thing or uh, the uh, or something. Bus fix. Yeah, I, 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 I will do some more on bus mechanic at some point. Ranch on Friday. Uh, there's a lot of lag there. You've got addicted to NIMBY rails. It is quite good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to carrying on on Saturday. I haven't played it since last Saturday. Alright, 1.9 miles until uh, Dumbarton. And then we come down to our final stop. And we'll see if next week we can carry on from Leeds. There's a lot of lag on this line. Um, and we'll come across to the west coast. Maybe see if we can get across to York. Might have to invest in a class 150. What is a class 150? Am I going to hate it? I don't even know what they are. Is it diesel? Is it electric? Is it got stupid little window things like this? What are they? I was originally going to build Berlin area, however, I've now gone more, more whole of Germany. Oh, blimey. I know where York is. I can get from York, from Leeds to York in a scenario, but I need the train to do it. But I want to know what sort of train it is before I then invest in the train. That's why I asked you train nerds. But do you know what York is? I used to have a dog that was a Yorkie, is that the same? It's a dog. Class 150 is a DMU with small windows. So um, it's like, like this then. What's my monitor refresh rate? I don't know. It's not in a 150. But why do I need a 150 then? See, I'm confused. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I shouldn't be trusted with this stuff. I should have people. I need staff. I need staff to... Oh, well, that was a noise. I need people. I need people to organise these things for me. And I just turn up. I'm, I'm the talent. I shouldn't be the organisational person. I just turn up, sit down, do the thing, come off, and then go back to my luxury yacht. <laughs> right, stopping here at Dumbarton. Use a voyage. I can't just use any train I like. I've got to use the train that's in the scenario, which I thought was a class 150. I obviously got that wrong. Why did I need to buy a 150? I died, died. My brain hurts now. Is it over yet? Can I have a medication and go to bed? Uh. Doing well on points. Minus 20,445. Nailing this. Perfect. Train's not in service. Explains a lot. You have completed your stop at Dumbarton Central. Proceed at 1911 mm -hmm. to Helensburg Upper. Okay, we can do that. Right. I think this is the final... It is the final stop then for tonight's, I don't know, three hours I've been at this now. <laughs> Hi. Um, the, 
for a two hour stream that's pretty good going i think i think we've nailed the time we've been we've nailed the journey it's just been perfect i'm just so good at this ignore this meeting oh yeah someone followed really <laughs> are you mad Uh, but thank you very much, Bluebird. Uh, welcome to the madness, indeed. Right, eight miles to Helensburg. Helen's brother. I'm actually going to sit in the back. <laughs> I'm facing the wrong way now. Why? Can I go and sit over there? I don't want to be looking backwards. Right, a 60 limit coming up round here. Now we've got the brake off, we should go a bit quicker. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Volume up. It's not the same, is it? Yeah, it wasn't quite the same. Can I stop my thing? There we go. Oh, it's a 60 as well. No one told me that, did they? Why can't I do the... There. No, don't slow down, train. Do the speeding up, thank you. wanted to enjoy the tunnel. Tunnel! Right, seven miles until we get to the place of Helen's brother. And then we'll come back and do some more of this next Wednesday on Railway Wednesday. I bet there's some person that's got this far on YouTube. I bet there'll be someone that's just sat and watched the whole thing and has gone, Ooh, a three hour. It'd be Ed, wouldn't it? Ed, Ed, Ed watches stuff. Hello, Ed. What happened to the so-called storm? I don't know. Oh, there's some lag. There we go. Uh, not sure. Going by the river. Hi, Ed. Yeah, just say hello to Ed, because it, it was the sort of thing you'll watch. He does that secretly. While he's knitting, or whatever it is he does. I don't know what he does. Uh, 45. Yeah, it's not as good as the class 320. I like that. That was quite nice. Even though it was uh, electrocuted. Compressor. What happened with the obviously some sort of lighting issue I think over there yeah the horn well nearly in the head uh, the horn's just not the same 
Right, 45, then a 60. Why did we get down to a 45 for like that short? What was wrong with this bit of track that made it a 45? Why was that a thing? It's not the terrain, it's the, the darkness. I believe in the thing called love. No, that's not darkness. They had their Christmas song as well, didn't they? Justin, um, Justin, was it Justin? Is it Justin? I think so. I can't remember. Right, five miles. See, you've got to keep up. You can't just you can't just zone out. You've got to keep up with these things. It said whistle. Just in time. Ah. Uh. Yards, five yards. What? What? Okay, that's laggy. Yes. I d d oh, wow, it's like talking the time warp. Who was the name of the lead singer of um, The Darkness? It's just, just in something. Hawkins. Hawkins? It's Justin Hawkins? Not Stephen Hawking, because he'd be no good. Justin Timberlake. No, it wasn't Justin Timberlake. Justin Trudeau. No, it wasn't him. Just in time. I've had that. Justin Ho Hackins. No, I don't think it's Hackins. Just in next door. News just in. Trent shot a chicken. Hawkins. Yeah, I know it's Hawkins. So I'd honk at the traffic light. They're not called traffic lights, they're called signals. Don't call them traffic lights, people. Just in. Can you tell? <laughs> No. <laughs> Tip, just in. That's a lot of lag. Wow. Two point nine miles to go. And we're going uphill now. What a brilliant line. Uh, actually, for a line I've never done any routes on, it's actually a really nice, apart from the lag, uh, it's actually really nice. Oh, we got a 40. That's not going to be a thing. I know I'm speeding. Don't just, it's fine. We're all right. We're okay. We don't worry about it. Only a little bit of the speedy. There's some more lag. What's the one where you got to take the stupid bloody token? Do the stupid token thing. That you just travel the whole line like 20 miles an hour, it seems. I'd love to do the um, the, the five circle line. I'll have to have a look and see if it's... Well, I won't, obviously. Because it'd be great to do it as one continuous journey rather than have to do it in two two bits. Oh, that sounds quite good. Oh, that does sound really good, actually. It 
See, you don't get that with continuously welded track. It may be better for the trains and better for um, the, the track. It just doesn't sound as good. Up the hill. Yeah, it's one of them. It, I, the whole token thing was just annoying. I know it's realistic, but what's the one with the 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 uh, Roy Bridge? That was good. West Thailand Line extension. Yeah. Where they got, they're chattering to each other over the flipping radio and stuff. Yeah, we'd have to go back to Roy Bridge because Roy Bridge Day is the 28th of May, which I think is a Tuesday. Fry, fry, chew, weather, mun, sun, Saturday. I will, uh, we will redo uh, Roy Bridge Day on Roy Bridge Day. We're hoping this year to actually do a meet up at Roy Bridge on Roy Bridge Day, but I don't think that's going to happen now. wondering what we're talking about it was a train sim stream that we did on the 28th of may uh last year where we went to roy bridge and the whole roy bridge thing came about which was just ah oh, it was absolutely hilarious so go and check it out on youtube uh train sim stream uh, it would have gone on youtube a week after or so around the 28th of may and in the screenshot it says Roy Bridge Day. It's just oh I was in I was on top form. Sam was on top form. He was in chat. And the whole why is it called Roy Bridge just spiraled. He was th 30 walk from the left in Star Wars. Bit of a drinking problem. turned down for a part in Lord of the Rings. Never quite got over it. Right. Never got his break. He didn't. In we come to... Uh, see, that's how random these streams get. You, that's why you can't miss one. Because some, something will happen in one of them that will then become a thing and you'll be like, wait, what? What? Did I miss a thing with like with Noodly Boo, with Susan, with Roy? There's just these occasionally there's these things that just stick. Yeah, no, that wasn't really a thing. And that that's not good, Dylan. Right, in we come then. An embarrassment to suspension and cantilever. Exactly. And still one of the funniest clips from any stream is that one. Three year over three years ago. Nearly three and a half years ago that was. Blimey. He said his name was Susan. <sighs> you did not successfully complete the scenario. Really? I spent all that time going the wrong way. <laughs> he never called me back. Uh, <laughs> he said that's where he kept his lunch. Anyway, there we <laughs> there we are. Uh, uh, we will end there. Two hour stream. Nailed it. Spot on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no one's got this far on YouTube, so I won't thank YouTube. Uh, there's no one in voice me to thank either. Thank you, me. Oh, it's only me. 
So it feels really odd sometimes just being here on my own. I'm used to having other people talking in my ears. Um, so there we go. So thanks to uh, you lot uh, in chat for keeping me company as always uh, throughout this. Uh, without you lot being there, I well actually probably I'd still be sat here talking to myself. In all honesty, because you've seen the YouTube videos, that's just what I do. Sometimes I I look over and see if there's Twitch chat while I'm recording them. It, it is a thing. It does happen. Uh, so thank you, uh, you guys. Uh, and a thanks to that one uh, to this lot when it eventually uh, starts there we go uh, thanks to Melting Lava for a donation uh, to Noz for a donation uh, for Smiley Tom for throwing bits at me uh, to Dylan, Larwood, Nightbot and Rich for their uh, what did they do? moderation oh crap hang on it's gone round again I'm going to have to wait <laughs> bear with me <laughs> I forgot what moderators do. Bear with. I'm just going to read that out again now. They they, they did some money stuff. Thank you for that. They it, There's some bits there. Uh, yeah, Dylan, Larwood, Nightbot, Rich, uh, moderators. New followers of Bluebird, uh, Gamly Typical, uh, Custard, and uh, the Bold Badger. And uh, subscribers were Don, John, uh, and people who did some hosting was TTV Thomas. There we go. Nailed that. <laughs> I don't ever remember being moderate. Well, in... Oh, average I was thinking of there. Oh, sorry. Um, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to end now because I just, I am. Uh, thank you very much, uh, everybody. Uh, tune in tomorrow, 7pm? Uh, 7, 7. I think it's 7. Yes, yeah, 7pm 7 uh, for flight. Because uh, that's going to be an interesting one. Until then, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching. Goodbye!